Welcome back. Um, sorry for the inconvenience, we had some technical problems. So we are back to the game of uh, Team Swiss Yeki against Team Italy Gaspari. We are already in the still in the first end by the last stones. So this stone just risen from the Swiss where Probably not that what they wish for. They were looking for a guard. Now Italy having the hammer of the last rock will try to take the white the yellow stone out. Will be a takeout. a lot and nice takeout and that means now the first end end with a one rock for Italy one zero for Italy so the hammer goes to the team Yeki one zero after the first end well before I was talking about the qualification of the teams in group A B and C so I repeat again uh, in Group A, it was is the team of uh, Silvana Tirinzoni, together with Andrea Schöp, the team Germany. In Group B is Anna Sidorova, the team Russia, with the uh, team Swiss of Binia Felcher. In Group C, for the moment, Miriam Ott of Switzerland is first. Three games, three wins. So she's currently playing. In a while we will switch to the scoreboard and look what Miriam Op is doing. She's playing against the Russian team of Vitoria Moisewa. And in we are now in Group D, seeing now the game of Diana Gaspari against Michelle Yeki. So Diana Gaspari has won all her games. And the team Switzerland of Michel Yaki has won three games out of four, so she's second. There is uh, in this t group another interesting game of the third against the fourth. The third is team Swiss Fabian Fürbringer against Hanna Sinakova. So out of those four teams, actually each team would have the possibility to qualify for second, as Diana Gaspari is qualified for sure for tomorrow. So we keep an eye on the auto sheets to see what's going on here. So this is a nice draw from the Swiss team. Just behind the guard. Here we are switching to the other scoreboard. It's still uh, 0-0, zero, zero, Mosewa against Ott. Then on sheet number 2 is the German team Drindl against the Swiss team of Maillard, which is 2-0 for Maillard. We move to sheet 4, which is our game, which is currently 1-0 for the Italian team. In, the, in this uh, sheet number 5, we see the the team of Risa against the team of Baumann, which the Swiss team wins for the moment for 1-0. And this team, this sheet, which is actually important for Group D, is that the Czech of Sinakova leads 1-0 against the Swiss team of Fabian Fierbringer. So, in our game, the Swiss are trying now a nice draw I would say a 12 foot draw to cover to cover the, the shot well this is a nice card
So the team Kaspari tries now to put a draw, 12 foot draw, near the shot, yellow shot, rock. Good. This rock looks good and keeps this very nice. It's 12 foot. No, she stopped it. So as for team making, she. What he tries, what she tries to do, is a kind of clearing. But she has to be aware of the curl, the style curls. So this is take out strong shot. Ah, this is now exactly what probably she doesn't want to do. Now, the Italian will do a guard. Actually, the two teams know each other very well because they have played together already at the Women Masters in October. In this uh, game, the team actually won 9 to 3. So, the Italian team is preparing themselves for the European Championship, which will be held on the 7th of December uh, in Karlstad in Sweden. So it's a very nice preparation for this team. And they have now already four wins in uh, this tournament. They're doing very well. So the second Stephanie. Is, uh, So the most important thing is to clear in front, as the Italian will do again a guard. So they try to block the center, because um, the Swiss team has the last stone. So it's obvious they want to close and keep those two uh, rocks in the house, which is certainly very nice. So already in the beginning, Swiss team seems a bit under pressure. So this uh, rock from Italy, the team Italy is a bit long. I mean, she would like to have see that just before the house, before the 12 foot. Now I think that they will be strong. Take out the position of the stones are quite nice to do a double take out.
again. They aimed to do a double takeout, but uh, finally it didn't work <coughs> out exactly how they wished for. So the team Italy is doing again another guard. In turn handle. Nice shot, nice shot, now just one left. And uh, as Team Italy says, continue to guard. Their aim is to steal one stone in this end, as they are leading already 1-0. to zero. So a bit too much curl. As um, a come around draw is now possible. The blue uh, rock is slightly over T, so a nice draw around. It's like a freeze, putting on the top and being shot. Long as um, getting a bit too long, and then the curl is not the same effect. So um, they have now two yellow rocks around the house, but the shot is the blue one. So the Italian team is discussing if maybe they would take one of those two um, yellow rocks out, but at the end they probably will opt for a nice uh, guard. That means this time they would like to have a draw. I think in the eight foot it means the draw would arrive to the white circle of the house. 
important is that the blue rock would be better than the two yellow ones. Nice, nice shot. The team was a bit, um, Diana Gaspari was a bit afraid that the curry curls too much, but at the end it's a nice shot. So team Switzerland, uh, Michel Yaki will try to uh, hit her yellow stone on the left side that the Yellowstone goes the right direction, the right side to the shot of the Italian team. Well, as you have seen, the, the yellow rock was too much left on the left side, so therefore there is um, there's no turn into the house. So it's again one rock for Italy. So Team Italy is leaving 2-0. Again, the Team Switzerland will have the last stone. So we are going on now into the third end, 2-0 for Team Italy of uh, Diana Gaspari. So she begins with the first rock. So this is Claudia Alvera. Nice center guard. So already 2-0 for the Italian. Now we present the um, Swiss. Number one is Melanie Barbisa, 21 years old. So she's the Swiss champion of 2012. Second is Stephanie Yecki, 28. Swiss champion as well. Junior Swiss champion. Marie is a Winkelhausen, plays the third. She is an idol of Roger Federer and she has to got a World Junior Championship bronze medal 2009. And the fourth in skip is Michelle Yecki, 25. And her idol is Rafael Nadal and she's the World Junior Championship gold 2005. Coach is Anita Yecki. And if you want to take a look, there are 
in der Facebook. As for the Italian, we have just seen the first two rocks of Claudia Alvera. The second is Maria Caspari. The third is Giorgia Apollonio. And the fourth on skip is Diana Gaspari. A very experienced team from Cortina da Pezzo. They have they are already very long in this uh, curling tournament. They are doing um, the championship and in one week they will be at the European Championship as well. Uh, this zone of the Swiss is again a bit too long. As, as you see, that all the rocks are behind the T-line. The T-line is the line who divides the house horizontal. So from the beginning, the Swiss team is a bit under pressure. Maria Gaspari is bringing again a stone, which keep about the guard, 12 foot, small guard. The, the idea is to close the center as they don't have the last zone and they have a beautiful shot. They have not much choice than to open up. Open up in a way they may get ba double take out on the guards. Maybe one word to the tournament. This is the 21st international tournament of ZO. ZO means Zürcher Oberländer, which is a newspaper here in the uh, Zurich, in the province of Zurich. The Zikon is around 30 minutes from far from Zurich. And the last two or three days it's cool here in Switzerland. And um, it's certainly a perfect uh, way playing curling. Ice conditions are nice here, and um, this, the rock is curling very nice. So, it seems the Georgia Apollonio is not so happy, but um, she says probably that it uh, doesn't curl too much because her idea was to Rock just behind the center guard. Now it, it uh, gives an opportunity to the Swiss team with a double takeout. At least they will try from the out turn handle counter clock. So this side seems to curl less. Very, maybe <coughs> one or two centimeters narrow from the shot, the blue shot stone. <coughs> now the <coughs> ten teams trying <coughs> for <a> takeout <coughs> on the yellow rock on the right side. <coughs> will be a kind of hit and roll. Nice. Bravo, Joe. Nice 
Per tu l'ho forte. Der Sade ist einfach in der Skilinie. Du glaubst schon, vorher bist du gefahren. Hock, hock! 3-8. Ich würde auch ein 14 Das ist ein bisschen zu schade. Das Well, it seems both teams have a bit difficulties with the weight of the rocks. Now what, now what the Swiss team will, to, will try is a race draw in uh, pushing the yellow rock, their own rock, just a bit into the center of the house. at the end, curls again, over curls a bit, so it doesn't hit the, the yellow stone straight away, it a bit on the right side, so Team Kaspari will try to take it out with an out turn. Ma il ghiaccio di qua. Eh? Non ho idea. Ma vedrai anche tutta, eh? Eh? Che la vedo tutta! L'importante è che non vada a fare. So she's saying that she sees the no. yellow rock. Proviamo! On full, so probably they will try now to hit. Oh no, they will keep the original idea. Ja, aber ich glaube, da draußen muss vom Kühl her... Äh, 
Så har vi noen nye spøter, du. Ja. Ja, aber ich spiele auch langsam. Du hast gerade noch etwas drunter. Yeah, this was not such a strong takeout. I think this is the e curls too much, so she won't be happy with it. Now there are four blue rocks in the house, so it's a difficult task now for Michelle to get in with the last stone. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Va bene, va bene. Dummy! Sì! Quattro? Tre? Due? So, Diana Gasparri will pay her stone at 12 foot, which just covers the blue rocks behind. So she would like that uh, it covers both the rock on the right side as well as the rock behind. Quattro, 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 tre, quattro, quattro, anche cinque, no, solo, mai toccare, un tirai quasi, eh? Di, cinque, cinque, quattro, cinque, quattro, no, vabbè, tira allora, tira. Non ce l'ha. Oh, oh, oh. 3-5, Giorgio, scusami. 3-5. Maybe a bit too short, but um, at the end, the most important thing is that he covers both a bit. He covers the, the blue one behind as well as the blue one on the right side. So Switzerland has two possibilities. Come around, draw. Very nice shot. Perfect shot, which uh, gives one rock for Switzerland. So the new score is 2 to 1. 
The hammer goes to Team Kaspari. So Switzerland will begin the fourth end. Now we switch the scoreboard to the other result. So here we have Miriam Ott who is leading 2-0 against the Mosewa. Oh, here we have a quite interesting shot, 5-2 for the German team of Drindl. Then now she is now 2 to 1, as we have seen now. Michel Yegi did a very nice shot on the third end. On the fourth end, here again, a five um, stone house, which the Swiss team of Bauman leads 6 to 1. And what is again interesting for us in the same Group D is the game of Sinakova against Furbringer. Here is 4 to 1 for the Czech. Uh, team. So we can switch back to our game in where the Swiss begin now. Uh, as the Italian have now the last draw. Very nice center guard. So the Italian will try to do a come around draw. So seeing the game, it seems all the time for the moment that the Italian talent team gives quite high pressure to the Swiss team. So at the end they have to save, Swiss team has to save with the last thing really to try to equalize this game. So they will need to <coughs> have a, a better um, rate of their stones. So they try to do another center guard. So he's sleeping very hard with the stone just, just past the hog line. Tell him begin now to take it out. And now turn curl. It 
was a miss. And actually, it, uh, this is a nice opportunity for the Swiss, as this shot is now really shot. And uh, I scored it by the blue one and the yellow rock. So, um, come around, draw now from the Swiss team. center guard was covers nicely the the nice the, the, the right yellow rock to show you the program um, tomorrow morning at 8 30 we're gonna have the quarterfinal so uh, four teams are already qualified there are now another four teams we decided by the games of tonight and at 11 30 there will be to 13.30 will be the semi-final and finally at 2.30 in the afternoon the final which we will show on laola1.tv so we will cover another three interesting games tomorrow so hope you join us to see those exciting games So Marie's Winkelhauser is trying to do again. Warte! Eins, zwei! Steffi! Go!
Poi ora hanno due possibilità. Uh, for the Italian team. E lei comunque la guardia centrale. Because, uh, the central guard. Core was very nice to shot. So there will be a first discussion. Anche se facciamo hit and roll, comunque lei ha, la, ha una guardia centrale. Tornerà dietro se di nuovo da capo. Eh no, non so se torna dietro va a bocciare la nostra. So what are the possibilities? She could um, tap the blue one. Come vuoi? Non so cosa potrebbe venire. Let's say her idea was to tap from here. Facciamo questo. E speriamo che lei bocci. Do it from here. Tirano 10. Sì. Prossima volta apriamo le guardie centrali. It tries straight from here. Dieci. Santa pace. Buona, buona! Oh, no, 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 no! Dieci! Wow, wow. Dieci, borde! Well, it was a good shot, but uh, it just doesn't curl enough. So now the yellow rock is even better. Got it by the center guard. So what they could try, Team Swiss, is just put another uh, guard or even touch the 12 foot. Okay, so they have decided to play a guard. Which probably will be not biting the house in a way that she wants just to have a guard which is maybe half a meter far from the house. So they would like to do a come around draw. Just T. The idea was to come around because now the team of Vienna Kasparri has the possibility to hit and uh, on the right side. So her stone will come on the right side while uh, the two uh, yellow rock would take it out of the house. So this will be 
quite um, strong takeout. Well, it was maybe not that stone what they have expected because um, all the three yellow s rocks are still in the house and uh, there are even better garden now on the left side. So important now for the Swiss team is just to put a uh, rock just in front in the 12 foot that, uh, Diana Gasparo is, is uh, forced to play uh, a draw around the shot. Nice shot. It means now four yellow rocks. And uh, Diana Gaspari really has to bring now her last stone. This is a psychological stone, we can say, because if she doesn't bring this stone, well, um, Swiss would take those four. Now she's trying a very interesting uh, stone because she tries to go through this port of these two yellow stones you see in the front so she will try a come around draw right away get into the center really really nice challenge Well, there's um, four yellow rocks for Switzerland. Means uh, the team Yaki now leads five to two. The hammer goes to team Kaspari, but we have a new score of five to two for team Yaki. Scoreboard now, we see on the um, sheet number one that um, Moiseva has taken three has taken uh, three stones, so they are leading now three to two against Miriam Ott. This is very interesting. On sheet two, we have uh, six three for the German team of Dreidel. On sheet 4, as we have seen now, is a new st standing of 5-2. And on sheet um, 5, we have 8-1 uh, for the team Baumann. This would be the first win for Nora Baumann.
And here we have 5-1 for Team Sinakova against Fürbringer. Well, when we see this um, standing for the moment, that we can see that the Team Italy of Diana Gaspari and the team of Swiss with uh, Michel Yecki are qualified for the quarterfinal. In uh, Group C, we would have a current standing that um, Miri Mott is qualified together with um, Daniela Drendel of Germany. But there are still uh, four ends to go. So, current standing 5 2 for Team Yecki, doing a nice performance in the fourth end. So this is the last round of the round robin of these 22 teams. So we have seen, we seen now Kaspari against uh, Yeki. This is the fifth game they are playing. So this is quite tough, beginning from yesterday and um, having the last game tonight. So it seems that um, Team Kaspari and Team Yeki will play against tomorrow in the quarterfinal. And um, this is this is. Um, Uh, yeah, a big effort for both teams having s so many games in just a short time. Now the situation looks that we have several center guards and uh, Team Yeki tries to draw around, uh, which it seems now that they know the weight of the eyes because from the beginning as you have seen the team Kasperi was leading 2-0 but just the last two wins the team Yek is playing very well
well. This is a nice um, shot in a way that you have suddenly two blue rocks in the house. Even the one blue rock is nice covered by a, uh, a guard. So Team Yek is trying now to hit and roll the, the, the yellow one smoothly moves into the house. It was a nice shot, but um, unfortunately not um, second. The blue, uh, the blue one is still better. So uh, she was expecting to hit and roll and being second. So here again a hit and roll on the right side, just be covered by the guard. So every time each team tries to hide the stone, both teams try to do hit and roll and just once on the left or la right side, just that the rock goes on one side or the other side being protected by one of the front guards. But um, both teams didn't um, arrive so far now with this um, solution. So. Now it's again Team Yeki trying to hit and roll. So again, a hit and roll.
what do we have now for the past four or five stones? The same situation. Each team tries to do a hit and roll, and uh, it's a, every time a kind of for hit and stay. So um, this is already the last rock by Diana Gaspari. So she will just try to hit and stay. So this will be a nice shot. So there are two blue ones for um, Diana, the team Diana Gaspari. So the new score is now 5-4 for team Yeki. So we move now, Mirai Mott has uh, taken a four house, so she's leading now 6-3 against Monsewa. Then on G2 is uh, still the score 6-4 for uh, the German team of Drindl. This is group C. Then our game, let's say, is 5-4 now. So uh, Team Yeki has, has now the hammer, meaning the last rock. Then here is Team Baumann leading 8-3 against Team Resia. And again on the Group D, here the Czech Sinakova is leading 6-1 against Team Fürbringer. So we have now five ends and still the same teams are qualified in Group C and D. We have Miriam Ott we have uh, from Switzerland, we have Daniela Dredl from Germany in Group D C and in Group D. Still, um, the two teams we are seeing now are Team Italy, Diana Gaspari, and Team Switzerland, Michel Yecki. This is a nice phrase from the Italy, Italy team, from uh, Claudia Alvera. So this is an interesting beginning, as uh, there are all possibilities to um, tap the blue rock on the yellow rock. So this is nice for the team, Italian team. So the Swiss team Yeki tr tries right away to put a uh, yellow rock on uh, the other side of the house as they want to focus the attention on this stone as you see now the team Italy is going on that shot.
Well, this uh, rock was missed because the idea was to hit and roll the yellow rock. But uh, from the beginning, it was a bit um, over curl. So now, Team Yeki can do another thing they're trying to take out to clean the front card. This is the strategy because Team Yeki has the last rock, so they want to clear the house to have an open house. So this is the idea. So it was a nice cleaning. So here again the team Italy tries to uh, hit and roll just behind the um, blue rock. Well, this is a nice shot too. So, uh, Michel Yeki expected the stone, the hit and roll on the right side. So, what happened now? The hit and roll plays on the left side, but is still nicely protected by the, the guard, by the blue one you see in the front of the 12 foot uh, house. So, the takeout is now for, done by the Georgia Apollonio. So Michelle Yeki tries to clear the house. She wants to think they would like a hit and roll. So they will throw because the most important thing is to have an open house for Michelle.
So it's already Michel Hayeki playing her stones. My perfect zone. Oh, this one was uh, just um, in time for the takeout. So now, just a simple come around draw for Michel Yeki. So, Michel Yeki for the last rock, for um, having two stones. So, two stones for uh, Team Yeki. Means now she's leading seven to four. So you see here now is 6-3, still after five ends of the game Ott against Mosewa. So it seems that you know, uh, she they play very fast. Here the German team against Meyer is um, already now 9-4 after six ends. Then the Shitna 4 is now 7-4 seven, seven, and after 6 ends then the young Swiss team won already 13-3 so they have um, uh, finished the game after 6 ends and the other game here is still 6-1 after 5 ends so they are in the 6 ends so still about the same that the teams are still same teams are still qualified no change so far
So we go back to our game, which is 7-4 for Yeki. Um, Kaspari has the hammer, last stone. So the game will be slightly different as Switzerland was beginning, beginning to play in the previous end. So the team of uh, German team of Daniela Drindl finished all her four games and with three wins. So she's qualified only in the case if Victoria Moiseva would win against Miriam Ott. So we better wait on uh, the last two ends. In Group D, still the same situation. Diana Gaspari and Michel Yecki we are playing. They are playing against each other, are still qualified for the uh, quarterfinal. So let's wait and see the next two ends. And as we can see that the team Yecki has begin already very nice in this uh, end, having a shot and a center guard nicely protected. So they struggle a little bit, the Italian team. So they have some discussions about the uh, strategy as uh, Michel Yecki would like to take out the, the center guard where the players would opt more for a come around draw. Yeah, very nice. So the idea is that the Dillon cannot uh, tap the blue one. Now they are trying to clean, to clear the front side, that the, the house remains open, as they have the last stone. So Maria Kaspari is trying with a takeout to clear a bit. Well, partly it's done, partly we still, there's still the center guard, still a guard there. So now Team Yankee just plays another guard. They have two shots already in the house, so they just keep it easy now, playing guards.
so. <laughs> so it was tough, but exactly the point what he wanted, just a kind of guard, but it was really tough that uh, it passes the hog line. So the team Gasparri needs just to take it out. But they maybe will try to, to hit around because uh, the center guard is maybe too far, so it would be maybe a possibility. Oh, very nice. Very nice shot. So back weight take out. No, not really, but the most important thing is his shot. So very nice weight. So Team Yaki will try to do the same. So actually it's not a lot of ice. So the outside curl, let's say, doesn't curl so much that um, with a nice weight you really get this kind of um, heck weight takeout. Perfect, perfect, very nice. So again, now there are three yellow rocks of the team Yaki. Putting again the team Gasparri under pressure. So she will try again the same. So it seems that now the yellow rock is shot, but uh, Team Yeki still tries to take the blue one out. So she asks if he hit the stone on the left side, that the stone um, leaves the house on the right side and not touching the yellow behind, which is in the back line after tea. Very nice. Very nice. So you see now two Yellowstone in front of the tea line and one in the back. So So the team Gasparri tries to put a kind of freeze <coughs> on the top or come around. So what they try is to to prolong the um, tap the blue one.
Well, the idea was very good, but um, it was a bit long, the prolongation. But okay, I think it could be shot. Maybe we have to see it. Uh, second. I think it's second. It was a nice race draw. Just slightly bit too fast. So, um, Team Yeki has now several possibilities. But uh, as they don't know if it's second or not, they have two possibilities uh, to. So now they discuss the possibilities. So what they will do is now just um, come around draw because uh, because it's very nice. It's a wide open here. Yeah, they they discuss if it would be just a, a, a twelve foot. Rock, but um, it could be eight foot as well. So this is what she tries to explain. So yeah, now it looks nice. It looks nice. It goes right away into the shot. Perfect. Very nice. Okay. So what they will try is to have a a back end take out to hit the stone. This would be the idea. Slightly on the the front guard.
So here is again the question, um, if we play a guard, or we just slightly tap on the nose of this uh, yellow rock. I mean, this is a very comfortable situation in a way that uh, they can play guard as well as they can tap the nose. And it will be very difficult for Diana Gaspari to, to uh, put her blue sco stone into the, the house. perfect card so now will be difficult and as I have the thought that they will come from the come, and draw, come around draw from the left side so what are the possibilities to to hit this stone to tap on this stone. Or what else? It's a kind of two time prolongation here and here. So it would hit right away on the top. So we will see now what will be the outcome of this um, rock. Well, it was not too bad. I mean, it was a very difficult so shot, and now finally Switzerland is just having Team Yek is just having one uh, yellow stone. So the new score is now eight four. So we are taking a look. So new score is now 8-4. Now the game has finished on uh, sheet number one of uh, Miriam Ott, who won 8-3 against uh, Moisewa from Russia. So it's a clear four games, four wins. Then the second sheet is finished too by the victory of uh, the German Driendl, eight uh, nine two six against the team Swiss team of Maillard. So this has been fun finished too. And it seems that uh, our game has finished too by Swiss winning eight four against Kaspari. So on sheet 5 this game is already before has finished by the 
victory of the Baumann, the Swiss Baumann. And here, yeah, we have finished two. 8 1 is the win of Sinakova against Furbringer. But uh, this win of of this uh, uh, of uh, the team Sinakova doesn't help much because she will stay third. That means she can't qualify for the quarterfinals. Well, all the games have been uh, finished. It was very nice to have you here. So for the quarterfinal tomorrow morning at 8:30, please you're welcome again to come for the games. For the moment, I can tell you that following eight teams are qualified. Uh, we have the Swiss team of Silvana Trizzoni, the German team of Andrea Schöpp, then we have the Russian team of Anna Sidorova and another Swiss team of Binia Felcher. In the other group now is Miriam Ott of Switzerland and Germany with Daniela Drendl. And what we have just seen is uh, Italy, Diana, Diana Gaspari and the Swiss team of Michel Jecki which are qualified as well. So thank you very much for your attendance. We hope to see you again tomorrow morning at 8.30 for the quarterfinal. I'm Mark Staley, hosting here the game at laola1.tv. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>